Hello everybody, this is Ian from Scilabs, and today I'm going to show you a few commands to help you start interacting with Singularity containers. Before I do that, if you don't know how to download pre-built container images, feel free to check out the link to our previous video at the top of your screen. So right now I just have an Ubuntu image in my directory that I'm going to use to demonstrate these commands. And I'm currently running CentOS, and I can verify that with lsb underscore release dash a. And you can see that is the case. So the first command I want to show you is shell. So we can use Singularity shell and then our container. And now you can see that we're shelled into our container. So it's important to note that your home directory is mounted inside of your container by default. So since we were within our home directory, everything looks exactly the same as before, but we're actually in our container. So if we go over to the etc directory, and then look at what's in our LSB release file, we can see that we're within an Ubuntu environment. So I'm just gonna exit out of this. So the next command I want to show you is exec, so we can use singularity exec, specify our container, and then specify a command we want to run within our container. So in this case I'll run a cat command of the etsy slash lsb dash release file. And what this will do is it will run this cat command within our container and it will read the lsb release file just like we did through our shell. And we can see that this command was run within our Ubuntu environment inside of our container. So the last command I want to show you is the run command. So singularity containers have run scripts within them that specify a workflow that should be performed when the container is run. So we can invoke this using singularity run and then our container. And this container just prints out this message. So you can also invoke this run script by calling the container just like any other executable. So we can just use dot slash Ubuntu SIMG and we get the exact same behavior. So one last thing to note about these commands is that you don't actually need to have an image to run these commands. You can use a URI extension just like we do for polar build and it'll cache an image locally and run the command within that. So I'm just going to delete this Ubuntu container from my directory. And I'm going to shell into an Ubuntu container, but this time I'm going to use a docker URI. So I'm going to use singularity, shell, and then I'll use docker colon slash slash Ubuntu. and now I'm within an Ubuntu container. So this is a nice feature if you want to explore a bunch of different containers but don't want to go through the hassle of a bunch of different polar build commands. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.